Book Bolt Review 2021. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about BookBolt and uh, going over some of its features and pricing. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to bookbolt.io and this is how the website looks like. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing. You can do a lot of stuff in it. You can create book covers, you can write books, you can do a lot of things. Like in a minute over here, as you can see, we can do word scrabble, crypto conners, we can do we can crossword puzzling, we can do Sudoku and Kakuro. We have a lot of things going on over here. It's one of the most comprehensive and low content book publishing software on the market right now. And it's pretty easy. Now, let's just go ahead and sign up so that I can show you guys how it basically works and stuff like that. So you can sign up by clicking on this button over here called start for free. And they have a free three day trial on all their products. So let's just go ahead and do it. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to sign up and tell you how it works. So to sign up, all you have to do is just simply enter in your name, your email address, your password, your city, state, and address. And once you've done that, just simply click on next and you'll be signed up. And then you can just check your emails and verify your account, and then you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll catch you guys in the next step. So once you have uploaded it, this is how your dashboard is going to look like. So over here, you have product research, you have seller research, you have clouds, book scout, keywords, and KDPs, KDP spies, book bold listlers, book bold designers, mass cover creators, and many, many more. And over here on the left side, you have tutorials. This is the tutorial section, basically. Then you have products, sellers, clouds, book scout, favorites, keywords, KDP category, and KDP spy. Basically, KDP is going to is like the Amazon Kindle uploads. So it's pretty easy. Like you can go ahead and research them on that. And then you'll be able to know what type of category and what type of book is, you know, hot right now and selling and what type of keywords they're using. So you can go ahead and copy those keywords into your uh, book, into your library of your publishings, and then you're good to go. Like it's basically it's pretty simple so i'm gonna go over one by one on these products and how they work and tell you a little bit more about them okay so for products over here as you can see this is the product research like all we have to do is enter a keyword and then we have to select the category and then search so for example if i just search for cats just simply search, click on search give it a couple of seconds because it's loading up all the information and once you've done that as you can see this is the keyword this is the total result this is the average BSR and this is the lowest price and the highest price of books available. And this is the average price and this is the category. So as you can see, these are the books that are, you know, right now that are related to this keyword that are that have, have that have used this keyword heavily. You have cat, no S, that singular. Then you have cat. Then you have book, coloring, notebook, gift, like all these different types of keyword counts that are available into this book. So you, so you get the idea of which it is which type of keyword is really really powerful so right now i've searched for cats the search count, the total results is 100 all 100 books use this kind of keyword in their you know name so as you can see cats over here cats and cats and cats so what if you choose a different name let's just go with let's just go with kill like killer like i'm sure some book will have it so we're searching in general searching searching at and here we go so we have a hundred count here average bsr is one million above one million actually the lowest price is three the highest price is 35 dollars the average is 8.73 dollars category is general so over here as you can see these are some of the you know keyword counts and these down below are the related keywords so we have no kill killing it kill or be killed kill or be killed this one was killed or be killed this one is kill or be killed this is the killing kill baby kill blu-ray like all these different names that we can go ahead and search for and then these are some of the books that are available right now so these are the ones that are doing really really good and really really popular that are related to this keyword and then down below we have seller give it a couple of seconds so that it loads up oh actually it doesn't load up this is how it looks like so now let's just search for this person right here roy peter clark this is this is a writer okay this is a seller so if i search for this person comes up so let me just choose this one okay even though this is in the product category not the seller i don't understand why but you get the general idea right you get the general idea these are all these this is the keyword this is the writer the average bsr the lowest price the average highest price you get the idea of what i'm talking about and these are some of the books that are related to this person right here so i don't understand when the seller wait let me just go over to amazon real quick so over here on Amazon, let me just go, let me just go over here 
and let me just search for a book uh let me just search for this person oh no not this one uh what was his name roy peter clark right copy the name let me just paste it over here these are some of the books that is done by this person so let me just copy the name even though it's this one right it's it's the same name roy peter clark so if i just go over to the seller and i paste the name it should come up search for just roy peter which is pretty weird i don't understand why you uh, last time i searched for the names it worked i don't know why let me just search for it okay it's coming in the product uh i don't know why this is not working but you get the general idea of what this basically is right you search for the writer's name or the seller's name and then that is basically it what if i just simply search for roy okay i don't understand why this is not coming up but you get the general idea it's just like products like you search for different products they'll come up the same is for the seller right the same is for the seller you search for the seller name and it'll come up so next moving on we have cloud so in the cloud you get you basically type this in in front of a word and you will be excluded such as keep calm will return only products containing keep and calm not the exclamation mark i think you guys understand it and uh, so let me just go ahead uh, and then over here i'm just simply going to write cat dogs and if i search for it as you can see these are some of the research research data that has been found so as you can see cats these dogs only the words that you basically write over here are going to show up like the like the underscore and the score doesn't really matter like only the words that you write will show up and then you have book scout now book scout is going to help you such as you have to enter in an asi asin number now this is an asin number i think that i copied earlier and this is the book that came up now this is really important you can get the asin number over here this is the number okay you copy this number and over here you enter it and then the book will come up so this is the book that i want so this was the book and these are the keywords that were related to it so for example if you want to know what a specific book uses as keywords you just simply copy the asin number you paste it over here and you will get all these keywords and then you can copy these keywords into your book and then whenever someone searches for this book your book will be in the recommended as well so that people can see it and then it'll basically help you boost your sales as well so it's pretty it's pretty good and then you have and then you have favorites and then down below you have keywords favorites and you just keep your favorite words over there and in keywords you just search for different keywords and you can search for favorites and stuff like that just enter in your in the keyword and then search and it book will show up and then you have kdp categories the kdp categories you just enter in the kdp category just enter in the category name and then all the books that are, that are going to be related to that category are going to pop up and then you have kdp spy basic now this is really important this is an extension okay this is an extension and once you uh have uh, downloaded it and whenever you go on to a kdp and you click on the book all these information will come up the asin number the title images like in this image as you can see the asin number the title image and then you will have the prices rates bsr score estimated value and stuff like that all the information that you will need are going to be available to you with a click of a single button by installing this extension which is pretty cool now these were all the features that you want and then you have book vault lister now this is also a click extension so it once you like install it basically you will get all the information of that uh, particular book over here like it's pretty easy like these two things are really important and they're really easy and it just helps you a lot so these were all the things that you basically needed to you know make some research on your uh, book and once you have done that we just uh, apply all the information and all apply all the research and data that you gather from bookbolt and then apply it when you are uploading your books onto amazon or kdp and then i'm sure you will see a boost in your sales and your business will grow faster and faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.